all right what's going on everybody welcome back my name is alex and today we're going to be going over a pretty dope hand cannon build that i've been putting together the last few days and this build is pretty cool it kind of gives you the best of both worlds you have really good damage on your normal attacks and they also are really fast and you also have insane damage on your laser attack so you can use this build solo or co-op but of course cannon does shine a lot more inside of co-op and one thing before we get into the video if you're playing cannon if you're new to cannon make sure that you go inside of your options and you adjust these settings right here because by default the aiming for your cannon is a little bit wonky and i believe by default these are on 100 i want to show you really quick what this actually looks like at 100 this is 100 speed this is absolutely insane insanity i'm not even moving the stick that hard now when you go back to what i use i like to use these at 25 oh nope not those at 25 i like these at 80 these are just your normal ads and the target aiming area i like these as low as they can go it gives you more control over your mortars and it keeps you from missing a lot of your shots now look at the speed that looks way more normal doesn't it so yeah man if you're using cannon make sure you adjust some of these settings and uh yeah dudes okay so let's get into the actual weapon so the weapon that we chose is the flaming barrel columnar rock i don't know if i said that right but this is what we're using and what comes on here is 30 percent of volley and volley just increases your attack rate for your you know your right trigger attacks your normal attacks and ironclad gives you increased defense when you only have one thread life remaining so we don't want this to be active but if, if it is active then you know we have a little bit extra defense and then we have desperation of 15 percent now desperation is really good but you know it gives you 15 percent more attack but it also makes you more squishy you, you lose defense to get that damage so we're going to be using a lot of that on this build so just be careful about that because you are going to be a little bit squishy and then we have volley two times so we have 50 percent volley on this gun and then we have thread thrift now thread thrift is a pretty clutch skill this allows your gauge to deplete a little bit slower so 22 percent slower and this kind of makes your laser last longer because if you didn't know your laser the length of your laser attack depends on how much bar you have so when you shoot your special beam when you're standing inside of a fortification you know aura your beam is going to last way longer than what it would normally so i'm going to show you guys that in a second and this is the path that we took to get here of course we started way up top we came way over here and we came all the way down this tree just to pick up thread thread from here volley from here thread thread from here and then we go back up and we came back down here and we picked up volley again from here and this note has the aspiration so this was the perfect ending now we only have 817 you know actual damage but we do have 10 percent crit chance and we are missing out on a little bit of damage but i think for the perk trade-off like the perks that we have here the skills i think the the trade-off is worth it because speed heat is okay but we don't need it on this build because we're not really trying to spam the lasers we're getting a lot of our damage from the actual you know normal attacks but when we do land the laser, it's pretty much going to be uh, super devastating whatever we hit. So it's not a, uh, a laser focused build, so to say. Now, moving on to the armor that we're using. For the headpiece, we're using the Garuda headpiece. This is a really good set. This comes with fatigue recovery, so you're going to recover stamina, you know, 10% quicker. Comes with deaf ears, going to nullify all roars. Well, not all roars, the chicken still gets you. And I believe there's one other monster that the roar doesn't work on, but I can't think of him right now. If there is one but i'm pretty sure this doesn't work on a chicken i know that for sure the rooster guy and then we have solar protection which boosts your attack and defense by five percent inside the daylight hours so that's really good to have then on the chest piece we have blazing resilience which is decreases your chance to get set ablaze no that's really good to have not not a big deal but the main thing here everyone is desperation which is going to give us seven percent more attack but again it makes us a little bit more squishy and then we have self-control just boosts our stamina whenever we have one life left we don't really want that to happen but it will happen you know it is what it is now on the gloves we're using the garuda gloves we have strong arm spirit whenever you land your hunter arm you're going to have increased crit chance and then we have crit draw whenever you pull out your weapon you're going to have a little bit more crit chance as well 
And then last but not least, we got Desperation again. 7% attack. Y'all, you guys know the deal. Going to make us more squishy. Now, moving on to the pants. We're going to be using the Draconic Body Armor Pants. Now, these are pretty good. They come with rude health. This makes it harder for you to get affected by status elements. But what we really want here is Battle Spirit. 10% more damage against a Kimono that is enraged. This is really, really good. The monsters sometimes go into a rage mode for the longest amount of times. You hit them with a snare trap. You hit them with the, uh, you know, the harpoon. Get them locked down. Hit them with your laser. Free 10% extra damage. So there you got that. And then moving on to the boots. Now the boots, you can use whatever you want to here. I like to use the Wayward Brigand boots because they come with resurrection. Like I said, you're a super squishy with this build. And uh, being able to survive a hit that would have you know ordinarily killed you is uh that is pretty valuable with this uh type of build so you can use whatever you want to with the boots here but i would advise something with resurrection or if you're just a super god tier cannon player you know you can use whatever you want to now moving on to the talismans we are just using all destruction art talismans except for one which is this one we're using the flame wielder i swapped this one out depending on what monster i'm fighting so if i'm fighting a monster that is weak to fire i put the fire one on and if i'm fighting somebody you know who can get poison i put the uh the poison on now it's only two percent but it's still procs you know you're going to be firing so many shots off that that two percent you're going to get a proc at some point during your hunt so whether you're using sleep fire you know whatever you want to you can swap that out for pretty much whatever you want all right now how does this build actually work now first of all you can get so much damage just from shooting like check out how fast this is going this is at volley plus 50% and I'll put it side by side of volley, you know, at 0% and then volley at 50% And you can pretty much shoot this off, you know, whenever you want to You don't absolutely have to pick it up, you know, right as it drops, but you do want to go in and out of your uh, Your key bases just to recharge your your meter and although you're not charging as fast as you would with the uh the speed heat you're doing damage this is really good damage now of course on the training bear he is i'm pretty sure he is specked out as a low rank kimono so you're going to be doing pretty much max damage on him as if you were were inside of uh, chapter one but check out the laser damage i'll also put a side by side here of how long the laser lasts inside of the fortification along with threat thrift and without threat thrift so check this out <laughs> that is a lot of damage did you check <laughs> 12,000 damage from one uh, thing dude now it doesn't take the long to set this up as you can see we have another one right here ready to go so you don't always have to pick these up right when you get them but you do want to try to be inside of a key base whenever you're, you use your laser and you don't uh, it's just it just makes cannon a lot easier and a lot stress a lot less stressful to play because you don't have to worry about you know getting this off non-stop you get these off when you can your damage will always be there with your normal attacks and another tip if you're using cannon and you're not using the uh the celestial thread you are doing yourself a disservice so there are times when you're on cannon you know you're shooting you're 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 wrapping up your laser you're doing whatever you know you're getting your damage off you're stuck there but you're not stuck there the threads allow you to cancel everything you're, it doesn't matter what you're doing if you're playing on the hammer the thread allows you to cancel every single animation and if you know with cannon you don't have a whole lot of mobility so this goes hand in hand with cannon i've been in love with this thing for the last two days and it is really cool and also allows you to build heat really quickly you know it's kind of awkward doing it this way but it does help you build heat quickly in case you just want to you know get it up Get your mortar off. Get your laser off. And get up out of there. You don't even have to finish your laser. So yeah, dude. 
the celestial thread these things are absolutely insane so i'm going to jump to a hunt i'm going to show you guys this in action i don't know who we're going to fight but we're going to fight somebody see you guys in like two seconds all right now we are inside of a mission and we are fighting the craziest madman of them all the golden tempest now if you're playing canon before you start any encounter you want to get at least one charge going so that means you know just go somewhere build up your charge and of course you want to eat your food as well build up some charge and you can get your mortar off on these little guys over here just you want to start off your your fights with wait that didn't that didn't count okay all right guess then hit them like directly Come here. So, boom. Here we go. Like I said, you want to start off your encounters with a laser beam. Let's right, actually pick this bad boy up. And this guy could be a little bit crazy, but uh, we're gonna try to get that tail off first because that makes this fight a lot easier if he doesn't have a tail. We're gonna put this down. <laughs> Hello, sir. No, don't you move. Don't you move. And break. No break. It's fine. He doesn't even know what's going on, dude. Oh. Ugh. I'm out of there. How did he hit me right there? Okay, we got his back broke open. Now, normally I would be panicking right here because I don't have my uh, my thing out, like my mortars, but it's fine. We can do normal damage. Hit him with that bad boy. And then we getting up out of there. Make sure you put this on. This allows you to uh, <laughs> maneuver the battlefield a little bit better. Now we want to get that spot on his back. Look at that! Look at that, dude! Yeah, you you have to, you have to use thread, dude. It's just too good. <laughs> it's too good. Now you can't still get hit. I dodged too late right there. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. So now he's just being a a hole. Alright, 41 still pretty good damage. Craig, no. It's gonna hit. It did. Let's go. Alright, we gotta get him out of here. We'll come back for that later. No sir, no sir. All right, let's pick this up. Oh, see, this is what we wanted. Now, now you pay for your discrepancies. Yeah. We missed the big bang. No, he dodged, dude. That was. He got reeled back right at the perfect diamond. There we go. Just eat all of that, bro. Take all of that damage. Yeah, see, he's he doesn't know what to do. Take that tail, sir. Yeah, he got lucky. We we missed our a uh, our big attack. Been right through his feet. And just like that, we got our uh, our big bang attack ready for the next round. And also, make sure you don't fast travel when you pick up your uh, your charge attack because you will lose it in your fast travel. So that means you're gonna have to chase the monster, but that's fine. You also get to start off your encounter with a lot of damage. And for this one, we're gonna shoot down the harpoon so he doesn't, you know, just run right at us. 
But sometimes you can get really sneaky and get your shot off without. Wait, where'd it go? Yeah, sometimes you can get really sneaky and get your shot off without them uh, even noticing you. So you might be able to get it here. Yo, where is he? Uh, oh, man. I hate fighting this part. It's pretty cool, like, set piece right here, though. Oh. Alright, so we're gonna... Actually, he's at a good spot. We might be able to get a uh, a trap down right here in the middle. Yeah, he saw us already. Yeah, let's put this here. And then we bait him over here. And it should be pretty good damage. Nice, that was really good damage. And he's on fire. I see the fire prop? That was perfect timing, dude. <laughs> oh, let's go. His tail came off and everything. Oh, your boy's getting roasted here. Take this. I don't need it. What happened to my mortar? Did I overheat? What? No. I overheated. No. <laughs> you got lucky. You got lucky. Oh we, oh, we knocked his teeth out. All right, we took off his teeth and his tail. Yeah, he got lucky. I overheated. So, yeah, man. You can see this. Uh, oh, we knocked out a fang as well. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, he's getting jacked up. All right. So, he is. So, now we can teleport. And then we can... Uh, build up our laser again and then just nuke him okay we actually can't teleport because he's uh he's right on the teleport but let's build up our laser on these little guys right here oh wait see this is the part with uh with cannon it's all about the prep it's all about the prep all right we got the overheat where the little laser guys go Hey buddies, I need your sacrifice. Don't you move. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so this this taking this, this take this is the longest taking part right here. Is getting your laser and <laughs> everything set up. But the payoff is uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of stress in some of these fights. And inside a co-op, it's just like, you know, ten times easier. This is actually why I made this build was specifically for co-op. All right, now we're going to put this down. Then we're going to build a harpoon to hold him still. And then oh, he might be too far. He just he came right in range. We needed one hit. Nice dude, GG. All right, man, that's that dude. You guys saw him in the <laughs> action, and this guy is no joke. He is not a, uh, a pushover at all whatsoever, but he is uh, absolutely super dead right now. I'm sorry, bro, I had to do this to you. That's a pretty good screenshot. But yeah, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Hope you guys tried this build. Let me know, you know, other cannon mains. Let me know if I missed something here. And uh, yeah, man, I'll catch you guys next time, man. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that shenanigans down below, and uh, peace.